We're back! Yeah, I know, it took a little while for us to get back, but I took a week off. The uh, main reason for that is because of, uh, I promised myself I would after we released our film. Which, uh, you know, if you want to take a look at that, take a gander at what we've been up to over the last couple of years, uh, feel free to uh, click that down in the uh, description or down in the comment section. It'll probably be linked in the same comment that I have to send you all to the Patreon so you all can watch the uh, uncut version of this. But, anywho, uh, so yeah, this, uh, this has been uh, quite the experience so far with Has Been Hotel, and I'm just going to be honest, this has actually risen up as a really, really good show, in my opinion. I mean, I like, I mean, I like the characters in this. There really isn't a character that I'm just like, uh, do we really got to be around him again, or do we really got to be around her again, or, I've never been like that with this. It's like, all the characters I've, I mean, Charlie, Vaggy. Angel Dust, Serpentius, uh, Nifty, Alistair. There really isn't a bad character in also, this. Also, we discovered that they're going to be at a convention. Yes. Uh, actually pretty close to us, too. Yeah. Which I think is actually really, really cool. Uh, along with a bunch of other people, including Ron Perlman, which... Huh. Oh, be still my beating heart. Anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> so, Has Been Hotel... I guess uh, we're going to check this out and we're going to see uh, what is going to happen in this episode. This is uh, episode six, Welcome to Heaven. Hmm. I wonder what happens in this episode. I, won oh. I wonder, I wonder. <laughs> anyway, here we go. I have a light jacket, flat jacket, and rain jacket. Wait, does it rain in heaven? Charlie, you're only going to heaven for a few hours. It's our last chance to convince heaven a soul can be redeemed. I wish I could come, but I have that thing. What thing? Fuck, God, I'm such a bad liar. Vaggy, you're my partner. I need you there with me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you look messy. <laughs> what happened to you? It's who happened to me. And the answer is everyone. Ugh. <laughs> What the fuck is with that wall? What up, boys? Hey! <laughs> Holy shit, Cherry Bomb! She been texting me a depressing shit all day. Figured we could test shit up like old times. It's been fucking forever. Here, hold this. Also, she's got an Australian <laughs> accent. That's... Wait. I don't remember if she did originally or not. She didn't. She did. I went back and I watched the original again. Or the, the pilot again. Just to make sure of, like, all the, like... Like, I wonder, I wondered, like, what it all changed and all that. I'm glad that Alex Brightman voices Serpentius now. As much as I like the original voice actor, Brightman just takes it to the next level. And, of course, you know, just... Man. Also, Keith David as, as Husker is a big improvement over the original voice actor. You know, here's the thing. We were critical of them changing up the voice actors. There's still some that I'm a bit iffy on, but for the most part... I'm I'm really cool with. Well, like I said with the trailer, it was Angel Dust that I worried about the most because they didn't show like any good moments from him in the trailer, but they saved it all for the show because he's been fantastic. Oh yes, in the show. yes. And as much as I miss Michael Kovac, I really, really do enjoy. I really, really do enjoy. Where's he at? There he is, Blake Roman, as Angel Dust. So anyway, sorry about that. But hey, Cherry Bomb's back! Yay! I love seeing you, Cherry. <laughs> Tired. I need to pass out. What you really need is a recharge, a, a reinvigoration, a re responsible night on the town. That is a great idea. <laughs> so nice to meet one of Angel's friends. Oh, he never brings anyone around. Wonder why. Yeah, me too. Anyway, Angel and everyone else have been working so hard. <clears throat> I think they deserve to have a little fun. Angel and his friend are taking you all out for a night of what? fun and relaxation. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> Wait. That's a bit much. I am only here for end. Ooh, never mind. Let's go. <laughs> we truly have the best time tonight. Anyway, the portal to heaven should be opening right about. No. <laughs> 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 I'm going out with Angel, and I gotta drag your sorry asses along. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> what do I do? What? What do I wear? Don't fucking touch me, a monster dickhead. <laughs> Ouch. Vaggy, 
Loki, look at this place! Super you know one thing I would be heaven. very happy about with this show? What's that? If now the Angel and Cherry Bomb are going to be on screen at the same time, if they actually bring back a remixed version of Addict. Okay, for the yeah. Actual show. That would be... Or I guess they don't even have to remix it. Just use the song. Yes. Like It would be kind of remixed because it would have different vocalists. but. Well, I don't mind it. Because yeah. Addict is such a banger. Even though the subject matter... Once again, subject matter is pretty hairy on it. It's still a banger. It's too catchy. Yeah. Hiya! <laughs> Welcome to heaven! Can I get your name, please? Oh, um, my dad got me this meeting, so maybe... Oh, dad. Try okay. Lucifer? Morning, star? Oh, fuck! St. Peter. We can take it from you. Oh, Saint Greetings, Peter. daughter of the morning star. I am Sarah, the high Sarah from heaven. <laughs> You're gifted to be here. Hi! I'm Emily, the other seraphim. Though, you can call me Em. I go by whatever. <laughs> Seraphims are like a really high chorus of angels. Like they're like the ones who are like one of the closest to God. Mm -hmm. Depends on the lore. Well, uh, yeah, of course. You know, There's a lot of lore where Seraphim are actually a union of angel or demon. Yeah, that's the other thing too. Is like I don't think that's the actual biblical context. Though. No, in terms of like the original Judeo-Christian, like, uh, like it Seraphims, like for instance. Dogma, for those of you who've seen Dogma, the Metatron, played by Alan Rickman, was a seraphim, uh, one of the highest chorus of angels, who basically acted as the voice of God. Dearly beloved, it is my pleasure to say unto thee, welcome to heaven. People are happy that they died, cause here we got no worries, got no burglaries, no strife. It's the perfect afterlife. We got the best and brightest, the politest of the lot. Okay. <laughs> Take a break. Oh no. What is she doing here? How did she even get up here? Who cares? I'm handling this shit right now! Wait! Better than waiting for the fucking extermination! What was the Seraphim's one rule? No one but the exorcist can know about the exterminations, I know. Oh, that's... That's interesting. So no one else in heaven outside of the exorcists and the seraphims know about the exterminations. Hmm. That's, mm, that's, that's quite a bit of information right there. Because that's the kind Don't of thing that if you just told the general pop of heaven about, they would be like, what? That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then uh, that causes a problem because yes. You just had them start to feel bad for people that are down below, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Your Highness, forgive me, but what are the Hellspawn doing here? Well, you failed to control the demon's unrest, and now Lucifer is involved. I never would have agreed to your yearly activities if I thought it would bring trouble to our doorstep. Keeping heaven safe was my only reason for allowing it. Okay, I love heaven! Baggy, did you see the ice cream shop? They had sprinkles made of rainbows! Those are just <laughs> rainbow sprinkles. Emily's going to take me to a zoo where all the animals are actually soft. You coming? Uh, I need a break. But hug a koala for me. You don't want to hug an actual koala. No, no, you do not. <laughs> Honestly, personally for me, I'd love to hug a red panda. <laughs> I'd, love to, I'd love to pick up Charlie's like, gonna end up meeting Luna at some point and Luna's gonna be like you might want to stay back I have syphilis and Charlie's gonna be like oh my gosh me too and she's gonna be like where uh, did you get that from I hugged a koala in heaven <laughs> oh god hey there Vagisaurus uh, I'm not looking for the blonde babe I'm looking for you why huh? maybe cause you left the band I don't know what you're talking about. Do you really think I wouldn't recognize one of my top girls just because you're out of uniform? What? You were on the front lines. I wouldn't what? forget a bad bitch like you. It's you didn't know I she's a fallen angel? The best thing ever. Vaggie. Actually, it's pronounced vaggy. Mmm. No. Anyway, you sure fucked up, didn't you? <laughs> oh. Oh. Like you has no place in heaven. <sighs> to think someone as worthless as you landed Lilith's little hottie. 
Congrats on that, I guess. I wonder what your bitch would think if she found out you are actually one of us. Hmm? What do you want? And at the hearing, you're gonna help me shut this kindergarten snowflake bullshit down for good. Never. Oh, yeah. You know, that's totally cool. I guess I'll just tell Little Miss Butterflies and Rainbows that she's been fucking someone who's killed thousands of her people. You know, Adam is just such a... Del he delights in being an asshole. I think it's just because he's used to it. I think... Also... <clears throat> that's also why honesty is important in relationships, though. This is true. I Don't get me wrong. I think... Vaggy, I also I didn't realize that Vaggy was a fallen angel. I didn't for the life of me. I can't remember where I heard that, but I've heard that sometime between the pilot and now. I didn't know that. I it gen, that genuinely got me. Um, also, so I was like, oh, that kind of makes sense as to why she's with Charlie then, because you know Charlie's technically the offspring of a fallen angel. Well, she's so. half, yeah. Well, she's half fallen angel and half human. I mean that's the that's the crazy thing is like Lilith is one of the original humans, and you know Lucifer. Yeah, I'd assume she fell at the same time that Lucifer did. You know, not that it was during one of the exterminations like that. So I didn't know that, but that's interesting. Hmm. But uh, yeah, I think she probably should have been like she already knows <laughs> that. Like you know, sometimes you kind of have to bluff in situations like that. If you yeah. Really don't want the other person to know. Let's be like you don't have any ammunition here. You realize that, right? True. True. We are gathered here today to determine whether or not a soul in hell can be redeemed into the heavenly realm by means of this has-been hotel. If you have actual evidence, then show it already. We have a patron right now who is making incredible progress. Who? Angel Dust. Oh yeah, the porn demon. If you know so much, what do you think it takes to get into heaven? Uh... Is everything okay, Adam? Give me a fucking minute, okay? <laughs> Act selfless, don't steal, stick it to the man. Are you fucking stick serious? It to the man. <laughs> but I, no, oh my god. Well, I bet Angel is doing all of those things right now. Then let's fucking see it, bruh. It's gonna be in the middle of Honors, getting real. May I something? present Exhibit A? Woo! Isn't this place the fucking best? I'll admit consent is a good name for a sex club. I thought Hotel look different. Miss <laughs> Mom, I, I'd like to buy you a drink. Why? Didn't you say we're arch rivals? Uh, um, uh, because I'm buying everyone a drink. I need a drink after today. You know, Val. Angel, enough with the Val talk. Here, take one of these, and you won't be worrying about nothing. You want to fuck up all your progress? Be my guest. I just thought you were better than that. Thanks, Captain Buzzkill. I, uh, I, I don't know. I, it's been a long night, and I don't need to go too wild. If you've really been working that hard, you deserve a little R&R. &R. I... I guess. Shetty, I, I bought you a shot. Be because I bought everyone another shot! <laughs> Fuck it, let's do it. No. That's not a soul worthy of being in heaven. Um, objection. Are you really telling me you've never had a drink with friends at the end of a hard day? We don't have hard days. It's fucking heaven, bitch. Oh, okay. Answer me this, Adam. What about when Cain slew Abel? Didn't you want to just, you know, kick one back and, you know, just... Forget about the fact that one of your children just murdered one of your other children. Hmm? Angel will make good decisions. Come on, we have to keep watching. Very well. The court will allow it. Fuck yes! Now don't. I mean, <laughs> thank you. Like Adam hasn't been using the F word this entire time. Yes. <laughs> well, you got to realize, dude. I mean, there's, they pointed it out. Heaven has double standards. Mm hmm Especially this version of heaven. Keep on coming! Go on, right here. It's right wonderful to, daddy. to have friends. <laughs> I think you're done, Tommy. Oh, oh, come on, me. bitch. She can handle a little more. Then, oh, mm -hmm. shit. Where'd you go? Sorry, fellas. Yeah. Next one's on, Nick. Uh, shit. Nick <laughs> 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 No. <laughs> 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 
She ain't used to this scene. I, I just don't want her to end up in the gutter like I used to. <laughs> yeah. Stop! Niff, why are you being such a mess? I'm the mess! Oh, no! <laughs> you want to play with the kitty? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck is this? She's wasted. Just go with it. The club has a sex room. Maybe you want to um, do a sex with me. <laughs> My God. Would you like to do a sex with me, Shady Ball? I'm sorry. Why would we have sex? Ah, ah, um, because I'm having sex with everyone here. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I made a horrible miscalculation. Oh my God. That doesn't work out at all. That's no, it didn't. Instead, it gets dragged into a into a potential orgy. But hey, at least they're safe. Kind of. Although I wouldn't trust a, a basket of condoms at a club. You know, we can do this fucking shit. Oh, God, you're right. You don't have to spend all your off hours working on yourself. The hotel isn't a problem in his life. It's uh, Valentino. Exactly. So why don't you know Valentino? Yeah, I'm here all the time. They know me. Where's Porn Nifty? Star. Okay. Yep. Drink no. I said I'll fucking kill you. No. I said I'll fucking kill you. Excuse me. And I will. Holy shit! Angel dust. What are you doing here, baby? You're bringing me fresh meat. No. Oi. I just want a taste. Ah, weird, but there's a kink for that, I'm sure. <laughs> fuck off, Val. Excuse me? I said fuck off. You forget who you're talking to? I own you, bitch. In the studio, and you can do anything you want to me there, but out here, I get to do what I want. So once again, fuck off. <laughs> enjoy the rest of your night, because I'm going to enjoy making you pay for it tomorrow. <laughs> It was worth it. Way to go, kid. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Nifty. <laughs> and you know, you could come crash with us, too. Oh, okay. Look, Angie, I'm glad this hotel shit is working for you. I am doing just fine. In fact, I'm gonna fuck the next guy I see. You need me. You know where to find me, yeah? <laughs> is Cherry still here? Damn it. He did everything on your checklist. But th then why isn't he here then? Hmm? Yeah. Why isn't he here? Wait. None of you know what gets someone into heaven? We know when a soul arrives. It is our job to ensure these souls are safe. But she was right, Sarah. He saw the light, Sarah. Checked all the boxes that you said would prove a person deserves a second chance. It's not as simple as you think. Not everything is spelled in. It's not fair, Sarah. Just because someone is dead, it doesn't mean they can't resolve to change their ways. I'm sure you wish it could be so. But there's a lot that you don't know. He blew a shot like a in his mouth, this discussion is senseless and petty. Did you forget that hell is forever? Gotta say, I can't wait to come down and exterminate you. Wait, Shit. what are you saying? You go down there and kill those poor you souls. You didn't know. What? The What's the big deal? So tell me that you didn't know. I thought since I'm older, it's my load to shoulder. No. You have to listen. It was such a hard decision to think that I mean, that in terms is. of like, in terms of like the rules of this world, yeah, that's kind of bullshit. And honestly, that's Adam acting like this and being a murderous dick. 
that's not morally like uh, that's not morally bad because he's an angel in heaven. No, he's let the power go to his head. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. It's like a law of the universe at this point. I was told not to trust in angels. She should know. We should go. No! Don't you see? We've come so close. Don't you act all high and mighty. Did you ever think your little girlfriend might be a liar? Don't. Why hide the fact that you're an angel just like us? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, but this court finds that there is no evidence souls in hell can be redeemed. You better save the date, because we're coming to your hotel another one. first. No, you can't! No! Charlie, don't give up on this. I'll figure something out, I promise! Did you see the looks on their fucking faces? It was... <laughs> sorry. Extermination of human souls, demon or not, there is no reason to be doing this. They were uprising, Emily. It is my position as the head the seraphim eyes. to protect our people at all costs. And it's your position to keep them happy and joyful. Heaven needs us, Emily. Everyone looks to us. If you start to question, you could end up like Lucifer, fallen. I couldn't bear to see you suffer that fate. I'm sorry. Damn. Yeah, that's uh, hell of a thing, man. And now that Charlie knows that Maggie is an angel, a fallen angel specifically, I wonder how I wonder how that's going to change up their relationship. And also, it's good to see that Charlie at least has a compatriot in heaven that is on the same wavelength as her. Mm. That redemption, that redemption is possible for... I'm thinking part of the trick is going to be not necessarily convincing them. <clears throat> Since they literally just said that they rule that, like, there's no evidence that a soul in hell can be redeemed. I think they need to turn the game around slightly, and they need to figure out a plan to prove that somebody like Adam is evil enough to deserve to be in hell with everybody else that's down there. Yeah. And so if they can prove that a soul in heaven can be evil enough to be worthy of hell, then they could potentially prove the reverse by proxy, essentially. Yeah, I could see that. Well, honestly, that's... To me, I think that's actually... The, I, I think that's uh, a pretty good plan. There are demons, in my opinion, that have been shown in hell of a boss that aren't really evil. Like, despite... You know, the fact that demons are supposed to be inherently evil, like, they've been portrayed, in my opinion, as, like, an alignment that's either more neutral or sometimes even good. Mm, One I of them was... in particular that I think is probably only considered to be a demon because of his sexual debauchery is Stolas. No, Stolas is a hellborn. He was born there. Exactly, but I'm saying he's not really that evil when you think about it. No, he's not evil, but I would... Like, he's protective of the people he well, cares about. He's sexually devious, but other than that, like, say... what does he really do that's 100% evil, you know? Mm, well, nothing that we've seen, but I will say this. Blitz is definitely deserving of being in hell. I think he enjoys well, being in hell. Yeah, I mean, like, he enjoys murdering people, like... Without it's, any... I'm not like, using him as the example there, though, by any means. Yeah, I get you, but... I would also say that Stryker is also pretty irredeemable. Because Stryker is a pretty, like, mm, nasty motherfucker. Maybe. Uh, I mean, I think that he probably enjoys what he does to an extent as well. Yes, he enjoys killing. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, Mil I would say Moxie is probably the most redeemable out of out of the three on there. Millie's close behind, but Millie's a little bit more unhinged. She's, yeah, she's really murder happy. Yes. She usually only murders people that deserve it, but she'll also do it just because she got paid to as well. So. That's true. But um, What about Stolas' daughter? Oh. Yeah, like, his daughter's really not done anything evil so far. Yeah. Um, we really haven't seen Luna do anything inherently evil. Well, no, in, uh, um, in in beach in the like party or the one where they uh, went up against uh, like what's her name, uh, Verasica. Yeah, Verasica, Verasica Mayday. 
they uh, like she led people to their deaths. Like she was leading all those beachgoers to their deaths. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, that's pretty morally bad. I mean, like mm. willingly doing that. But also, well, Luna. Again, these are all very morally reprehensible things, but they're characters that we like. Mm. And plus, it's hell. What do you expect? But anyway, yeah. So uh, also, I think Vaggy is a pretty big example of someone who really doesn't deserve to be in hell. You know. Well, yeah. I mean, choosing mercy, which I'm sorry, but isn't one of like the one of the proclamations of God is to show mercy. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's one of like the main things. It's like she was literally like betrayed by an angel, but actually deserves to be in hell, which I'm pretty sure is the same one that's hanging out with Adam. It is, yeah. And like she's a bitch. She deserves to be down there. Like, yes. And Vaggy does not deserve to be there. Well, no, I don't think Vaggy deserves it at all. Especially if you're a Christian like me that doesn't think that gay relationships are a sin that would be deserving of hell, you know? Like, well, because that's literally the only evidence you would have to be like, oh, well, she's a lesbian. It's like I don't think people that like the same sex deserve hell well here's my thing that i always go to whenever it comes to like like what is the true word of god the true word of god is the ten commandments and the word of christ that's the basics like there's a reason why it's called christianity neither of them said anything about same-sex relationships exactly so i don't have a problem with it so anywho that's my whole deal but yeah, this this show, Jesus, they went pretty hardcore there at the end with like the moral reprehensions of heaven and hell, and you know, especially in this universe and everything. And why do they get to decide who's worthy, though? But that's well, it's once again. It looks like they don't. Like Adam, like I don't know. There's stuff that we don't know, and so it looks like everybody in that room doesn't even decide who's worthy of being in heaven. Yeah. yeah seems that way it's just they got to decide like whether or not a soul could be redeemed but like really i don't think anybody in that room had the authority to even be to give the okay and be like yeah they could come up here you know like doesn't sound like they're making the choices in the first place seems that way it's none of them know what the requirements are to get into heaven it looks like they either show up on saint peter's list or they don't and once again i mean expanding the lore upon uh, you know, St. Peter, you know, you know, I, I would also like to see if, uh, like, Gabriel's horn makes an appearance, because Gabriel's horn is, like, the horn that sounds that opens the gates of heaven. Like, if you are truly worthy, you'll hear Gabriel's horn or something like that. Mm. I don't know, but that's the thing, is, like, it, it's, there's so much that they are doing with this, and I gotta be honest. Yeah, there's a lot they're doing with this that's not exactly biblical. No. As well, like, well, no, no. In terms of like the biblical, I don't look at this as like a biblical representation of anything heaven and hell related. I look at this as a fictional like retelling of like someone's idea of heaven and hell. That's how I see it. Yeah. I don't see this as like it's like this is how it is in the Bible. No, it's not. No, by no means. Because honestly, the thing is, everything that like is in the Bible comes from the uh, comes from like judeo like judeo traditions like and honestly when you look at the kabbalah when you look at the quran when you look at the bible when you look at you know the uh like the old like hindu the old hindu teachings it, it there's a lot of parallels but in terms of like a lot of the stuff that you see in like the biblical stuff like, it Trying to look at this thing. through a lens of biblical accuracy is basically the same as trying to look at doom through a lens of biblical accuracy. That's true, yes. Like, neither of them are meant to be that. No. Like, and th they have really cool references, like the eyeballs, like you guys were talking about, you know? Yeah. Seraphim. Yeah, it's interesting to see the references, but, you know, I mean, I don't think it's that big of a deal if they leave it out. Yeah. Mm. But, all right. Anyway. So we're going to be moving on from here. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this. This was Has Been Hotel, Season 1, Episode 6, Welcome to Heaven. And what a welcome it was. So I guess we'll be moving on from here. And until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Kate. Sorry. Got her in the middle of the yawn. And we'll see you in the next one, everybody. Bye-bye.